Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Sakura Swim Club. In the last episode, we saw Hiromi and Miko have their swimsuits being torn for some reason. I think it was just uh, the fabric just loosening up or something. And then we decided to join the swim club because it was exciting. And now we are going back home. Hmm. The sun is setting by the time I make it back home. Oh. Wow, it was very late then. This isn't exactly how I was expecting my first day to be. Really? What do you expect your first day to be? I thought it was going to be the same old and boring beginning. Introduce yourself, join a club, make friends, do study. Wow, you already made like a plan for each time you go to a different school? But it's gone far more differently than I thought it would. Well, I mean, the panties and boobies. I've already made two new friends. Yeah. Awesome. They're going to teach me how to swim. Alright. Do I really want to become a swimmer? Well, I mean, don't really have a choice. You promised them. Maybe not. But I think that they need me. Yeah, or the club will be disbanded. I don't want their club to close. They seem to love swimming. Yeah, especially with torn swimsuits. So, I will have to wait and see how this works out. Alrighty. I have to think more about these rumors though. Judging by what I saw, they were desperate for new members. Yeah, they were. Of course, that would be a given, since practically everyone else discourages anyone from joining the club. But why is that? Hmm... It isn't a wonder that they're down to only two members. So, what exactly happened for things to end up that way? Hmm, we will get to the bottom of this. No one seems to want to talk about it. A distinct sound echoes through my apartment, cutting through my idle thoughts. Wait, what? This is your apartment? I this was your house. I can hear the phone ringing. Like, I thought Kato was living with his parents. I already know who it is. Oh, my parents? But I don't want to answer the phone. Even if I ignore it though, it's going to keep ringing. Oh, that sucks. Where's your answer machine? They would presume something happened if I didn't answer. Well, that's also not good. Slowly, I pick up the phone. Now comes the moment I dread. Hey, Dad. His familiar, masculine voice echoes through the phone. Hello, son. Just checking in to see how you're doing. Judging by the tone of his voice, he's nervous. What's wrong? Oh, it's just that I rang earlier, but you weren't there. I was kind of worried about how your first day went. Don't worry, I was just a bit late getting back home, that's all. Well, it's good to hear that you're fine. Fine is a very relative term for me. Oh yeah, because I mean, you gotta switch schools every time. How was it, by the way? He immediately goes for the kill. I can hear the anxiousness in those words. Is the school any better? He desperately wants to hear yes. It practically means the world to him right now. They're trying to find my gift. Hmm. Fortunately, I don't have to lie to him about it. Yeah, I don't mind this one. What about friends? Have you made any new ones? His tone is a lot less grim, but still. It stings every time he asks that. 
and I don't dare say anything. Two girls I met at the swimming club. They're pretty nice, from what I can tell. Hmm. Except the, you know, the Mako was. Miko? Yeah, Miko was uh, yelling at me. Swimming club? The tone of his voice completely changes. What's wrong, Dad? Oh, nothing. It's just that. Do you really want to do swimming? Why wouldn't I want to do swimming? Yeah, kind of, that's a weird question to ask me. There's plenty of other clubs at that school. I checked it out myself. Oh. So you think you know what's best for me, huh, Dad? No. I know what's best for me. I just don't really see you as a swimmer. That's all. So, would you consider doing anything else? Hmm. No other clubs interest in me. Why are you discouraging me? Yeah, I'm, hmm, I'm curious as to why he's discouraging me right now. Why are you discouraging me? Ah, really, it's nothing. If you want to swim, then swim. I don't think he's telling me the whole truth behind that. Try the rumors. I'm assuming it's the rumors. Anyway, you said you met new friends? He's changing the subject. Like most parents do. I'll just go with it. If they're girls too. Every. Single. Time. Girls. It's a little early to be planning anything like that, Dad. Wow, what? Is he planning like marriage already? Or, or family? What? I can hear him scoff at that. Don't be ridiculous. It's never too early. Your mother and I met in middle school, after all. Uh, what are you saying, you guys? Just, you know, knew each other back then? Or you just had a relationship back then? I, I don't know. It's, uh, mm, That's, mm, your thing, I don't know, don't wanna know. Probably met. They're probably just like middle school friends and so on. He always likes to bring that up whenever he can. Is that like the one thing he's proud of? The two of them had been together for decades now. Aww. I think he's one of the few men to have truly achieved ideal love. Hmm, maybe. Once again, I live in his shadow. Yeah, because he thinks he knows what's best for me. There's nothing wrong with thinking about what sort of future you could have, Keda. You never know if there's a cute girl in it. I know, I know. I'm only in high school though. If I know my dad at all, then he's definitely shaking his head right now. But, but, but we, your mother and I have met in the middle school. That's the best time for romance. I, I, are you sure it's romance or something else entirely, Dad? It's before you get old and cynical like me. He laughs for a bit. Anyway, I have to make this brief today. Next time we talk, I promise I'll stay around for a bit longer. Uh... Yeah. Your mother and I have high expectations, Keda. Man, thank, thank you for telling me that. Now I got super high pressure as to do something. I know that you do us proud. Of course. Until next time, Keda. Later. The phone goes silent then. Yeah, Dad. I know that you have high expectations. I just wish you would ask me if I wanted to be a prodigy. Yeah, that's what parents, you know, parents expect so much of their children, but you just got to do what, what their, what the child wants to do, what their passion is, you know. Every time we talk, I feel like you're on the edge of asking that question. But we always just barely avoid it. 
Wait, what question? Why can't I just be myself? Yeah, see, I was talking about that. Oh man. Hmm. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Sakura Swim Club. Of my dad expecting uh, high expectations of me. If you guys enjoyed it, then please slime the like button and help support me by sharing this video and by subscribing down below. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye.